very pleasant and charming good morning to one and all present here. Today I am here to speak on the topic, Build a Life, Not a Resume. So here the story begins. A college professor started off his class by picking out of his back pocket a 20 pound note. In this lecture, whole of about 200 people, he asked, how many of you would like this note? Naturally, all the 200 hands went up. He said, interesting. He then said, before I let you have it, let me ask you this question. He took the note and folded it in half twice. Then he asked, how many of you would like this note now? All the 200 hands went up. He said, okay. He said, okay, let me try something else. He took the note and crumpled it. Then he asked, how many of you would like this note? All the 200 hands went up. He said, okay. Finally, he chucked the note on the floor and screwed it with his shoe and crumpled it even more. Then he asked, how many of you would like this note now? All the 200 hands went up. He said, today you have learned an important lesson that how many times I scrunched that, how many times I crumpled it, how many times it was short enough. You still wanted it because it was still worth 20 pounds. So, that 20 pound notes held its value to you. No matter how many times life will tread on you, life will crumple you, life will scrunch you and life will squeeze you. You won't lose your value. You will always have to keep your value. I'll give you some of the examples of some personal, uh, successful personalities. In the middle of 2009, he was a software engineer that no one wanted to hire. He had 12 years of experience at Yahoo, but rejected back to back, first by Facebook and then by Twitter. He had been to a great university and had a great CV. He started to build an app with one of his alumni members at Yahoo. He started to create an app and focus on the startup space. In five years time, he built that app and sold it for $19 billion to Facebook. Believe it or not, that was Brian Acton, the co-founder of WhatsApp. When he was rejected by Facebook, he replied by saying, it was a great opportunity to connect with some fantastic people and move forward to life's next adventure. When he was rejected by Twitter, he said by replying, worked out. It was quite a long commute. It's so interesting to see someone rejected from top two internet companies actually responded with humor and actually responded with positivity. Next example, this lady was diagnosed clinically with clinical depression. Her marriage had failed. She was jobless with a dependent child and she was on a four hour train delayed journey from Manchester to London. Then she came up with this idea to write a book about this visit. Then she started writing and just finished her manuscript, took it to 12 publisher and rejected by all those 12 publisher. Believe it or not, that's JK Rowling. Third example, this man watched his first company crumble and his first company didn't even work, but still went on building. He was a Harvard University dropout, but still went on building Microsoft. His name's Bill Gates. Therefore, life will Failure is just a sign that we need to widen our scope. We need to build ourselves for life, life next level. Failure is just failure when we don't learn from it. But when we learn from it, it becomes lesson. So I want to conclude by giving you some of the points how to learn from failure. First, pay the take the risk and pay the price. No, it's actually it's okay to fail, really. Experience is the best teacher and at last, let the fear of failure help you to succeed. Thank you and have a nice day.